नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर सो ये स्टडे वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर बिहार स्टेट एंड हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन सेंटीमीटर इन सुपौल डिस्ट्रिक्ट एट स्टेशन ऑफ बसुआ एंड फॉलोड बाई ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मधेपुरा अदरवाइज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट सोन हेयर बाई ऑरेंज कलर रिपोर्टेड हैवी टू वेरी एवर रेनफॉल इंक्लूडिंग सब हिमालयन वेस्ट बंगाल सिक्किम अंडमान निकोबार आइलैंड्स तमिलनाडु इंटीरियर महाराष्ट्र स्पेशली मध्य महाराष्ट्र घाट एरियाज मराठवाड़ा गुजरात स्टेट वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड द पॉकेट्स सोन हेयर बाय येलो कलर रिपोर्टेड हैवी रेनफॉल इंक्लूडिंग उत्तराखंड वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ राजस्थान छत्तीसगढ़ स्पेशली साउथ छत्तीसगढ़ तेलंगाना आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटका एंड केरला वन और टू स्टेशन ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर अरुणाचल प्रदेश ए बी सी द टूडेज हाईलाइट्स वी आर हैविंग फोर हाईलाइट्स फर्स्ट इज दैट हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर बिहार सब हिमालय वेस्ट बंगाल सिक्किम एंड एडजॉइनिंग आसाम एंड मेघालय डूरिंग नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड देर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ डिटेक्शन देयर आफ्टर सेकेंड पॉइंट इज दैट कंडीशन आर बिकमिंग फेवरेबल फॉर The withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some parts of western parts of Rajasthan during next 24 hours. Third point is that isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity likely to experience by southern Gujarat region and adjoining Konkan and Ghati area of Madhya Maharashtra during next 24 hours. And last point is that a low pressure area likely to form over north and Andamanese adjoining east central Bay of Bengal around 30th of September, and thereafter it is likely to uh, move west northwest parts with possibility of uh, uh gradual intensification so these are the four highlights now if we see the today's synoptic system so we are having one cyclone circulation over southeast uttar pradesh and adjoining region and uh, another cyclone circulation over south madhya maharashtra gujarat region and over southeast arabian sea and adjoining lakshadweep area one cyclone circulation also lies over northern parts of pakistan and today one western disturbance also seen as a trough in uh, the location roughly over afghanistan and uh, the monsoon trough ra- today runs from bikaner across uh, lakhnau patna and then goes to manipur and another trough another trough runs from jharkhand to uh, southern parts of uh, madhya maharashtra so under the influence of uh, these synoptic systems during next 24 hours mainly there are two pockets of uh, very heavy rainfall activity one is over northeast bihar sub and west bengal sikkim western parts of assam and meghalaya another lies over south gujarat region adjoining konkan and ghat area of madhya maharashtra accordingly a red color is given to bihar and sswb and sikkim and orange color is given to assam meghalaya gujarat region konkan and uh, madhya maharashtra otherwise heavy rainfall activity is likely over punjab northern parts of haryana eastern parts of madhya pradesh southern parts of chatisgarh telangana karnataka kerala tamil nadu and uh, also activity likely at uh, one or two pockets over marathwada and heavy rainfall is expected over andaman and goa islands during next 24 hours if we see the map of tomorrow that is valid for 25th you will see that uh, the heavy rainfall activity likely to reduce over most parts of the country except it is expected at one or two stations over bihar gujarat region konkan and goa and uh, north central karnataka the activity of andaman and goa islands likely to continue and on 26 for the reduction in heavy rainfall activity however of one or two station likely to experience over gujarat region and heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over andaman nicobar island that is there is a possibility of increase in rainfall activity over andaman nicobar islands from 26th of september the activity over andaman nicobar islands likely to continue during next uh, uh, subsequent 4 5 days and the activity of uh, heavy to very heavy heavy to uh, heavy activity rainfall over this uh, interior maharashtra adjoining karnataka and kerala region and over gujarat region from 26th of september and likely to continue on 28th as well so these are the weather warning for next 5 days if we see the map of bihar these northeast districts of bihar including sopol aravia and kishanganj likely to experience extremely heavy rainfall today and adjoining district of uh, madhubani darbhanga purnia katihar likely to experience very heavy rainfall activity and heavy rainfall is expected over saharsa khagaria and the districts of uh, nalanda 
and otherwise the sticks on here by yellow color like to experience light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning activity then thereafter there is a possibility of reduction in rainfall however some uh, one or two stations uh, are likely to experience heavy rainfall over Sopal and Araria and Kishanganj districts otherwise adjoining districts including Sita Madhi, Madhuvani, Dharvanga, Samastipur, Sarsa, Madhepura, Purnia, Katiyar etc. likely to experience light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm and lightning activity. Now this map is valid for uh, Meghalaya and for next two days you will see that main activity is ex likely to experience of very heavy rainfall over western parts of Meghalaya and adjoining districts and thereafter there is a possible reduction however heavy rainfall likely uh, to experience by western parts of Meghalaya uh, on tomorrow. If we see the map of Meghalaya accordingly western parts of uh, Assam likely to experience uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall during next 24 hours and then uh, thunderstorm light, light, lightning activity on day 2. So these are the weather warning for next 5 days and we will uh, further uh, discuss tomorrow with a bit of information till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat